friends. Welcome to today's video. Today we are creating this look. I'm playing with a few new products that I picked up from Sephora, including the new-ish YSL All Hours Foundation. I have it on now. I'll give you my first impression thoughts in the video. I also picked up these liquid shadows, these twin flames liquid shadows from Danessa Myricks. And I show you how you can use them as a shadow or a liner. These were Allure Best in Beauty product winners, but I felt like similar to her color fix, which I now love, they might be a little intimidating to some. So I wanted to show you how you can use these in kind of your everyday makeup routine. So we'll kind of see these in action. I'm also playing with some new products that I just am really, really loving and enjoying. Um, I tested the Sephora lip plumpers. I picked up a little gift set recently that I'm gonna gift and I'm probably gonna pick up a couple more because honestly, they're so, so good. And then I also am playing with some new NARS holiday and then, you know, an assortment of just favorites that you guys have seen and loved here on my channel. So before we get started, I wanna thank Sephora for partnering with me on this video. I wanna share their fragrance for all event is happening right now and it goes through December 24th. You can save 20% off full size fragrances, you guys. 20% off if you are a Beauty Insider member, and it's for all tiers. So regardless of your tier status, if you are a Beauty Insider member, you get 20% off full-size fragrances, like amazing. The Beauty Insider program is a program that you can sign up for, there's no cost. I will have a link down below if you're not a Beauty Insider member so you can sign up for that and enjoy these savings. The fragrance that I picked up, um, I picked this up as a gift for my mom, so I really hope she's not gonna watch this video, is the Flower Balm. I have heard so many great things about this fragrance. It's a very, very popular and well-loved fragrance, so I have a feeling that she's going to love it. And I personally am going to pick up a full size bottle of the Juliet has a gun, not a perfume scent. I love that scent. It is just like, it has this very like light, clean, kind of like unisex scent. And I just love it. Every time I wear it, I get so many compliments and I have various travel size versions in my travel bag or in my purse. I'm going to get the full size version during this event. So I'll have all the details for the fragrance for all event in the description box below for you. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started with this look. So we're going to go in first with foundation. I picked up the All Hours Foundation from YSL. I'm super excited to try this. This is described as a luminous matte foundation, which kind of excites me. So I picked up the shade MN1 and let's check this foundation out. Let's see what the texture's like. I feel like it's Ooh, okay, it's a little, it's not as thin and watery as I expected it to be. It's actually got some really nice texture to it. You can see that it's lightweight sliding down my hand, but it's not a watery consistency. One pump doesn't disperse a lot, but let's see how far this goes and maybe we don't need much more. Ooh, okay, this looks like a perfect match for me. Okay, it blends into the skin really quickly. I'm just kind of pressing with my buffer brush to blend this into the skin and it really just does the job quickly. Let's see if we swipe it how it gets. Okay, so swiping it like this, just as I expected, is gonna give it a little less coverage. It kind of shears it out a bit. All right, I definitely need to go in with another pump, which is fine just because one pump didn't, I actually I didn't apply a full pump last time because this second pump was much more product than my first pump. So I do think one pump will be enough. Okay, so pretty good coverage. I'm definitely seeing that luminous finish that it describes, but it doesn't look like shiny. It kind of sets to a matte luminosity. That's so weird saying. <laughs> it's like the two contradict each other, right? But when I think of a luminous matte finish, I think of skin that has some radiance and some life to it, but doesn't look shiny. And that's pretty much the best way to describe it, what I'm getting with this foundation. Okay, really nice. It looks very natural, gives great coverage. And I do think about a pump will do because I dispersed a second pump, but I'm not gonna use all of that. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown Skin Full Cover Concealer. You guys know this was one of my favorite discoveries of 2022. I just love how hydrating this concealer is. It feels really hydrating and creamy under the eyes, but it stays in place. The um, coverage is pretty customizable. You can get, and it's also because the texture of the concealer, um, it allows it to be more um, flexible. And what I mean by that is if you decide to skip foundation one day and you just wanna wear like a tinted SPF, or maybe you just wanna mix a little bit of this product with your moisturizer to give coverage, you can do that and it'll blend in naturally to the skin. Sometimes when you work with concealers that are like really full coverage, you can't really achieve that because it doesn't look very natural doing that. This one gives great coverage, but you can also wear it on the days where you want more of a natural look. 
Oh, it's just so nice. I think for mature under eyes, this concealer is just one of the best launches of the year. It's so beautiful. I think the shade is perfect too for me. It's the shade beige. I like that it has a bit of peachiness to it. So it really cancels out dark circles. If you have pretty dark circles and I don't have really dark circles, I don't really have the need to use a color corrector on most days. A good concealer will do. But if you are someone that no matter what concealer you use, you still see darkness there after you've applied it, it probably means you need to use like a peach color corrector or find a concealer that has a peach tone to it. Oh, that just looks so good. Such nice coverage. I love that. I have been so excited about this like discovery. The Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Powder Balm. I love it as a foundation, but I also love it as a bronzer. I picked up the shade six recently and I've been using this as my bronzer and it is so darn good, you guys. It's very warm, so it's not really a contour shade. It's really just gonna warm the face up. What I love about it is the color's a perfect shade, but also I love how it just stays in place all day and it's a blurring uh, product. So it is going to blur texture, large pores, I tend to have most of my pores right here where I apply bronzer and blush products. So this is nice because it smooths it out and it just stays in place all day. It doesn't budge, it stays matte, but it doesn't look heavy or dry. It's just, oh my gosh, I just think it's the one of the best, another best discovery of 2022. Is that what year we're ending? Yes. <laughs> It's hard to keep up, time's flying by. Do you see what that did? It just gave some warmth to the skin and some dimension. I love that. Okay, moving right along. I think there's a theme here with Danessa Myricks. This is not a Danessa Myricks video, by the way, but I have really fallen in love. I think that's probably the one brand this year that I just dove head in, you know, head first into and found so many great loves. Another product that I purchased a couple of months ago that I've really been enjoying is their contour, cream contour. And I have the shade Light 2. Now I could use this as a contour and I could use a bronzer with it, but I have really been using this on my nose. So what I'll do is I'll just take my finger and I'll just like apply it on the side of my nose. The shade is perfect. It's nice and cool, but it's not too gray and it blends out beautifully. So you can see that I wasn't too worried about applying too much because I'm gonna be able to blend this out really easily. I'm gonna take my concealer brush and I'm just gonna bounce it on top of that product. It creates a really natural looking contour. It stays all day and it's really easy to work with and blend. Look at that, very natural contour to the nose. You can of course use it on the face to create more structure, but I'm not gonna do that today. Oh my gosh, perfect. So go, let's go ahead and add a little color to the cheeks before we powder. I'm using this little set from NARS. It's part of their holiday collection. It's the Behave Backstage Cheek Set. And let me show you what you get. You get three products. You get the uh, Behave Liquid Blush. We're gonna use this today. And then you also get the Behave um, Cream Stick in the same color, little tiny little mini one. And then you also get the Powder Blush in Behave kind of a nice muted rosy pink. Let's go in with the liquid blush because I want to play it with this today. All right, so this is what the color looks like. A nice muted, I want to say matte, even though the texture is liquid, it doesn't have any shimmer to it. Little muted rosy pink. I'm going to go in with the same brush that I used for bronzer and we're going to pick it up. This way you could certainly apply it with your fingers, but oh, that's pretty. So I'm gonna take my foundation brush and kind of bounce it over because I took it a little too far and applied a little too much. It's got good pigment, so you wanna be careful not to apply too much. It's not as sheer as I thought, which just means you wanna use a very small amount and then you can build if you want more color. But the nice thing about it is the color is very soft and rosy, so it's very easy. So if you apply too much, just go over with your foundation brush or a beauty sponge to absorb it. Very nice, natural color on the cheeks. Next, we're gonna go in with the Jouer Hydrate Powder. The name is Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. I'm gonna take a big powder brush and I'm just gonna powder the forehead, powder underneath the eyes very lightly. Even though this brush is very large, um, it's not ideal for like target powdering. I like it because it picks up product very softly and applies it very softly. I've mentioned this before, but my skin is getting drier and especially this time of year, it gets really dry. So I definitely pull back on the powder that I use. And the easiest way to do that is not necessarily switching products and purchasing new products, but it's just switching your brush, use a larger brush. Next up, we're gonna go in with eyes and I am very excited about this part, super excited about this part. I picked up two products from Danessa Myricks. These are the Twin Flames Multi-Chrome Pigment. These are liquid shadows and let's just swatch them because they look like 
Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, you guys know that the Color Fix from Danessa Myricks, I fell in love with this year. This is a cream, it's a very versatile product. It actually says you can use it on the eyes, cheeks, and lips. I primarily use them for the eyes, but I love them so much. I mean, I literally have like all of these shades that I've accumulated over the last, and I've got two more in there over the last year. These products are something that I walked by for months because I was intimidated by them. I thought they were gonna have a glossy finish. I thought they weren't gonna be wearable. Oh my God, they are the best things ever. Super long wearing, highly pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. So I, and I kind of think the same thing about this, like these intimidated me a little bit, but we are going to try them and play with them because I have a feeling that I'm going to fall in love. These were also Allure Best in Beauty award winners, which, you know, that says a lot. So the shades that I picked up were Angel Heart. Let's swatch this here for you. It's this multi-chrome. Oh, it's nice. So it's got great pigment, but not as pigmented as the Color Fix. It's a lot thinner um, and lighter consistency. So this is what that shade looks like. You can see, you can see how it shifts in color when the light hits it. This is Angel Heart. Next up, we have Mystic Fire. So this is what it looks like in the packaging. It's very reflective. So let's see what it looks like on the skin. Oh, oh, wow. Oh my gosh, this is... Stunning. Okay, so depending on how the light hits it, it looks really purple, but then it also has this like green reflex shift to it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this looks a lot more pigmented and opaque as well. Okay, so what are we gonna do? So we're gonna play with those. I don't know if we're gonna play with both of them. Might have to make a decision here. And then we're gonna play with the um, Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. This was another palette that I picked up this year that I fell in love with. There's lots of options here. So I'm not quite sure what we're gonna create, but I know we're gonna have fun doing it. So let's get started. I think maybe we will try to play with both of these. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be bold and brave today. So first we're gonna go in with Angel Heart and I'm I'm going to just apply this on the lid as you would expect. Let's see how this blends out with my fingertip. Ooh, that's pretty. So if you blot it with your finger, you can actually kind of tone down a little bit of that chrome-like finish. If you want more of that chrome-like finish, just layer it. Like, do you see the difference between the two? Obviously I haven't blended this out, but you can really see the chrome effect. But when you blot it, you can kind of tone that down a little bit. And that's nice because depending on your preferences, you might love a highly reflective finish like that, or you might like something a little softer. This is so pretty. It reminds me of a shade of shadow I used to love from MAC called CD Pearl. Do you guys remember that shade, CD Pearl? I don't even know if they still have it, but it was like this really beauty, beautiful opalescent eyeshadow. And that's what this looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. It doesn't really take much blending to be honest, just a little pat you're kind of good to go. Oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. Okay, well, I'm excited. We're gonna go in and build some definition with the palette. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Rebel and it's a, like a dusty rose matte shade. And we're gonna just create some shape right here in the crease. So putting a deeper shade next to that shadow on the lid really makes it pop and stand out more. Okay, perfect. So now we have a little more shape. I still wanna go in and create more dimension. So I'm going to take a smaller eyeshadow brush, something that gives me a little more precision. And I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's a little more of a brown kind of peachy shade. And we're gonna pop that right in the outer corner and kind of concentrate it right there on the outer corner. Perfect. I'm gonna go back in with that liquid shadow and I'm gonna really intensify it right here in the inner corner. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna apply it and then I'm gonna use a little brush to just blend that out rather than my finger. Do you see how beautiful that is? Yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take a little brush and we're just going to blot it, to, but keep it really concentrated. Oh yeah, there we go. I like playing with new products that and kind of seeing the best way to use them. This is one that I can tell I'll like learn how to use it and get different effects over time. Oh, this is so pretty. Do you see how that pink builds up as you layer the shade? Oh my God, that is gorgeous. That is so pretty. So we're gonna use the darker shade, the Mystic Fire as eyeliner. I saw this on a Danessa Myricks like Instagram or something. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna basically just take my little applicator and swatch some on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna take a tiny little angled brush and we are going to load up the brush and create a liner with it. Pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. So the best way to use this is to load up the brush on its side and then just kind of press it onto the lash line. Don't really pull or kind of drag it, just press it and you'll get the best payoff. Okay, I'm gonna go and do the other side to match. Oh my God, this color is gorgeous. Okay, that is so pretty. Wow. Oh my God, that color is stunning. So beautiful. 
I'm gonna run that same color on my lower lash line, but I'm gonna take a little bit of a fluffier brush and kind of use it to smoke it out. So I wanna kind of cool down the crease a little bit. Now that I have everything working together, I feel like it'd look really pretty if I add a little bit of this lavender shade here. So we're just gonna add a tiny bit of that just to kind of neutralize that crease a bit because it turned a little pink and I want it to be a little more subdued. Oh yeah, there we go, perfect. So you still have some warmth in the crease, but that definitely neutralized it a, a little bit. Pretty, so pretty, okay. Okay, love that. I'm gonna skip false lashes. I was thinking originally I was gonna put them on, but I really don't wanna conceal this eyeliner because I think the eyeliner is what the focus of this look is. So I'm just gonna load up mascara. I'm gonna start by curling my lashes. Perfect. I'm gonna load up my lash primer, the Dior. Lash primer is my favorite. Oh, so good. I have found this to be the best lash primer. I've tried a few others and you know, not that they're bad, but this one just is the best. I'm gonna go in and load up my lashes with the Tower 28 mascara. This mascara is high impact, really fans out the lashes. You can build and build and it doesn't get clumpy or heavy looking. Look at that, amazing. For lips, I'm gonna go line the lips with this Makeup by Mario lip pencil. It's the shade Johnny. And I'm gonna fill in my lip with this. I'm basically using this as my lipstick. It's a pretty soft, cool tone pink. Next, we're gonna go in with Sephora's Plump Effect Lip Gloss. This is the shade Outrageous, and I'm excited to use this. I actually picked up a little gift set of them that they're offering. I forget what this was, but it was a great value. I thought it'd be a great stocking stuffer or just kind of easy add-on gift. Um, so I'm excited to try this. I'm all about the lip plumpers lately. So this has a nice little curved wand applicator so it fits right on the contours of your lip. Mmm, the scent is like, Minty, it almost reminds me of like a, of a chocolate mint. Okay, super milky looking, highly, like lots of gloss. Mm, that's pretty. It really gives the lips that wet, glossy, milky look. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. So there's a slight like opalescence to this, but otherwise it's pretty sheer, so you can wear it over any lip color. It has a slight, I wouldn't say tingling effect, like minty, refreshing. It feels very comfortable. Ooh, that looks so pretty, wow. Okay, love this. So this is the finished look. I love the way that it came out. The foundation is looking really nice, very natural. It definitely looks more matte than radiant, but I can see a little bit of that soft radiant finish to it. Um, I'm excited to wear this throughout the day and see how it wears. I've heard good things about this foundation, um, but you know, I feel like foundation is always such a toss up. Some people, for some people, people love it. For others, it might not work for their skin. So far, I am loving this foundation. These twin flame shadows from Danessa Myricks really stood out to me. They are really fun and I'm excited to play with them more and learn the best way to use them. Personally, I love the way that this looks as liner. Um, it was really easy to apply. It's very opaque, so it works great for liner. Um, this color was one that I was, when I was on the website, I was like, should I get that? Am I gonna wear that? How am I gonna wear that? But I think as a liner, it is absolutely beautiful. And it gives a look that you just can't get from a pencil. So love this. This is also really beautiful. I'm excited to play with these more and really find the best application method. I can say you can apply it with your finger or a brush. With your finger, you're gonna shear it out more with a brush. I think the best way to apply this really is to use it and apply it directly to the lid and then to blend as little as needed, okay? So just blend out with, just to like make it look smooth, but don't over blend because that's, and that's kind of when you take away some of that color and that like reflection from it. So nice. And then the, the Sephora lip plumper, love this. Very milky, super glossy. Like I feel like this is like supermodel lips <laughs> and it's very comfortable. So I'm excited. I'm probably gonna pick up a couple more of these because they were a really great price point and they make great gifts. That wraps up this video. All the products that I used will be linked down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.